Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Sandra. How are you? Oh, very good. Thank you. And you? Great. Are you excited for our last day? Yes, I'm excited. <laughs> and then you go to uh, visit your parents, right? Mm, visit my parents in next, next week. Ne ah, next week? No, mm. I don't think so because uh, because our uh, the kind of, of job we have never stop, never stops. Mm, okay. Yes, because we work for for people in the airport. Okay, I. I what do you do, Sandra? Well, um, I administrate uh, the the small enterprise of my husband, mm -hmm. but but uh, also I sometimes there is no drivers enough, um, so I have to go uh, driving people too. Wow! Yeah, <laughs> and sometimes, uh, coming uh, are coming people from, for example, Egypt or another place uh, from Arabia, they don't speak Spanish. So I have to, to go with my, my husband in order to be uh, like a translator with, with the people, you know? Mm, okay, so you're always a little busy, huh? Yeah, you know, whoops. <laughs> For me, it's very, very difficult. And sometimes we have to go from, from house at uh, 12.30 p.m. 12.30 p.m., no? Yeah. I, I mean, a.m., 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 a.m. A.m. Yes, yeah. and we have to be at the airport at 1, 1 uh, fifteen a.m., waiting for people. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit uh, very difficult uh, to rest for me sometimes. Sometimes, but, anyway. but it's good to have your own little business because it's for tourism, right? Yes, but you know, sometimes I would like to be working uh, for another for another's enterprise because that way I don't have to to be worried about a uh, paying payments uh, of Seguro Social, uh, Social Security, you know, and IFPS and <laughs> extra, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there are there are uh, it is very very difficult because uh, our clients, our customers uh, don't don't pay on time. Sometimes, you know, uh, mm. Mm, it is it is a problem. But anyway, thanks God we we are working. Yeah, you know it, it's thank God, especially in the pandemic, that a lot of things got very difficult. Right, that many people were concerned or worried about how to continue the business. Yeah, uh, during the pandemic, uh, thanks God, we never got the virus. Thanks God. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Good to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was it was a miracle from God for yeah. for our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Good. That's good. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, I see we have several people here. Excellent. We are Jefferson, Nicole, Fatima, and Yancy. So before we begin with, and also Helen. So before we begin with today's activities, um, first, were there any questions, any parts of the platform that maybe you had a mistake or it's not clear or the system didn't uh, allow you to have the correct answers that I can help you with? In my case, um, I have uh, difficulties uh, in the in the last in the final test, but uh, yesterday we we solved it completely. Okay, and you don't have any more difficulties, Sandra. Everything is okay. You checked to see that you had the certificate that the progress was eighty percent. Uh, no, one hundred percent. One hundred. I mean, uh, sorry, that the score was eighty or more, and your progress was one hundred, right? Yes, of course. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Anybody else? Did anybody have any questions or parts of the platform that they have a little bit of difficulty with? In my case, everything is clear, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jefferson.
Okay, wonderful. All right. So that means that today, since we are finished, we're going to be doing a little bit of conversation and talking and speaking. I'm going to give you a couple of links um, here, and we're going to make up our groups. We want to discuss. We want to use what we learned. We want to express ourselves. Remember, what is the most important is practice those 45 seconds. Practice those 45 seconds. Don't stay with five seconds. Yes, no, uh, maybe, a little bit, no. Remember, include your WH questions. What, where, when, why, who, how much, how often, how, all of those questions you want to include in your answers. So we have two links in the chat. Those two links are going to give you the opportunity to choose whatever topic is interesting for you. For some people, it's more interesting one topic. For other people, it's more interesting another. That's fine. Any topic that for you, you find interesting, that's what you're going to talk about. You can choose different topic. It's not necessarily the same topic as your partner, right? If your partner wants to talk about aliens and you want to talk about animal rights, that's fine. If your partner wants to talk about vacation and you want to talk about food, that's okay. The idea is only to help you create a conversation where you can give long answers. Your objective, the goal, the focus is giving long answers, right? So when I say, Yancy, how was your day? Yancy is going to say, uh, it was good. No, Yancy is going to speak, 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 and the answer is going to continue and continue and continue and continue. And I'm going to identify the what, the where, the when, the why, the who, the how, the how often, how many. I'm going to identify all of that in her answers because that's what Yancy needs to practice to get the best score when she does the speaking part of the test. The same thing for the writing. The more you speak the better it's going to be for your writing because you're going to have more ideas. Ah, I want to talk about this and this and this and this and this. So when you have to write, you're not going to be, oh, what do I say? What do I do? No, you're going to have the opportunity to give long, complete answers. Yes? Yes, sir. All right. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so I'll send in the links one more time because I saw some people came in just now and we want to make sure that everybody has all of the links. Remember, open up the links before we make our groups. That way you don't have any difficulties or problems. Okay, we're gonna have a few minutes and then we come back and discuss. And then a few minutes, we change the partners again and we come back. Okay. And uh, have, you, have you seen all the topics uh, uh, that you can speak about? Yeah, I understood that we have to choose a specific topic. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I would like to talk about animal and pets. I'm going to... Okay. Animal and pets, okay. But I... Teacher, I didn't understand. So I have to choose a question for Sandra or for me. You are choosing a question for Sandra because you are asking Sandra. You're not asking yourself. So okay. you're going to ask Sandra any question from any topic that you like. And then Sandra okay. is going to ask you a question. The most important is to try to make sure that you give long, detailed answers. That way you would practice using vocabulary and different structures. Mm, okay, got it. Thank Great. You. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, do you want to start, Sandra, if I ask you, or you want to start asking me? Well, as you wish. If you want to start, be, uh, you, you want to be the first. Again, we are, we will to uh, just talk about 
every topic. Okay, we are going to have 15 minutes, I'm sorry, 15 seconds to organize ideas and 45 seconds to speak, right? Mm. No, I didn't, I didn't, uh, actually I didn't <laughs> uh -huh. hear the instructions. Can you please share with me? And no, in that case, there wasn't. Uh, Hi, Peter. Hey, Nicole, what happened with Jarvin? Jarvin's not speaking. No, well, he got out like for a bit and he just got in again, but he's not speaking. I've been trying to, like, you know, call in him, but he's not talking. I don't know if he's not here or something. Okay, I'll send you to another group and we'll hope, hopefully, uh, Jarvin can fix his problems. Okay. Okay, thanks. Right. Thank you. I have yes. No idea. <laughs> yes. I yes, I remember that dream. Um sometimes I don't remember the dream, but when is when I have a problems in that dream, I remember all, all the details and <laughs> is 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 my family told me um uh, why you describe many many things in your in your dream? You remember all? Yes, I and I say the many things when I remember my dreams. And um, is was a uh, very long my dreams. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, like nightmares. Sometimes we tend to remember mostly the nightmares because we wake up um, very, very scared sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I dream uh, some, some scare, I... Um, when you have up, nightmares, uh -huh. Yes, I wake up uh, fast. Uh, I, I have a control that <laughs> during, I don't know. Um, I have do you want to make a question or or do you want to ask me make a question to you? Um is it my turn or will Fatima speak? Uh, whatever thing it's okay for me. Um whatever is good for me too. So <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Uh, Fatima it is Fatima's uh, turn right now. Um, okay. What do you think, Fatima? What do you think about uh, accidents uh, nowadays? Mm, well, I think accidents are very bad because many people can get uh, hurt. Uh, but I think most likely people have accidents because they don't try uh, properly. So, mm -hmm. for example, some men, uh, <laughs> uh, it's not even uh, that I say that most, well, actually, yes, most likely men has uh, a chance to have a, an accident because they uh, most likely are um, avoiding some rules, uh, you know, tra traffic or transit rules. For example, they don't respect the speed, speed limit uh, when they are on the road, for example, I guess that the, the speed limit on the road is um, 19 kilometers per, per hour. And sometimes mm -hmm. I have seen some men that they drive like uh, around 100 kilometers per hour to say something. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they don't want to be respectful with other drivers or some motorcycle drivers, for example. Uh, I believe that accidents could happen because uh, people, it's unrespectful with each other. Uh, that's the main reason because uh, accidents can, might happen. Another reason could be that people, uh, this, this, 
distract is distracted by the phone or mm -hmm. maybe by the um yeah most likely by the phone or <laughs> even I I have seen some women that are make makeup putting makeup and on hair yeah, you know. so <laughs> and yeah i don't know why or i don't know uh, how they can do it uh in my case i i i couldn't i couldn't do it <laughs> but anyways most likely i think that i believe that uh accidents will happen because people it's unrespectful and also because they don't be focused on the uh, on the role or on the on the moment yeah, you're right. Very good. Okay, now Nicole Saboleta, do you want to make a question to any one of us or do you want to answer a question? Mm, I guess I could answer one. Okay, now uh, Fatima, would you like to make the question? Oh, uh, yeah, just let me choose another. Mm. Another. Uh, he gave me that from the deepest. Uh, he gave me that from the deepest of uh, his heart. I don't know. Con lo más profundo de su corazón. Okay. I don't know how to say that. And I saw uh, I. I can say that is one of the best gifts that I um, received. Of course, I, I we have received a lot of gifts from our family, right? Our mother, father, and friends as well. Uh, but those one that are uh, that that have that feeling for grateful or something like that are so special, especially from those little persons that are very innocent and they are very grateful for everything that they get or they see, you know. Hey, okay, thank you. And uh, Do you have a question for me? Yes, let me a moment. Okay, let me see. What gift would you more? I'm sorry, can you? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. What gift would you most like to get? Okay, let me think about. Um... Okay. Okay, I think that in my case, I have ever one is I remember that when I was a kid, I had never had a uh, watch, and I remember that my first watch was one little watch that I consider that currently I know that it was a toy. But in that moment, I really loved that watch because it was my first watch. And that's why I was very happy. And I remember that my second one watch that I had, uh, I remember that my parents gave me this gift. And then and the, the time passed and I remember that I had never had another watch because my first, my first one and my second one uh, didn't, they currently, they are not working. I, I think that even I lost them, but I remember that that kind of exciting emotion that I had in that moment. And that's why I currently love when someone uh, give me a watch as a gift. Uh, and it for me it doesn't matter if the gift is a uh, expensive watch or a cheaper watch i really love uh, every kind it, it doesn't matter if it's a sport watch or a classical or 
I don't know how to say, maybe, como, maybe as a old fashioned kind of watch, because I know that currently they, there are a lot of new kind, for example, the smart watches, but I really love the classic, the old kind of watch. All right. Um, okay, uh, we have, hi, uh, Isaac. I think Isaac solo se conectó por la asistencia, no porque no está ahí. Yes, I, I asked to her okay. uh -huh, some minutes ago, but I think that he doesn't have a, uh, he can use the microphone. No, no, oh. even in chat, even in chat he can't use porque ya le escribí un montón de mensajes y nunca contesta. Entonces yo creo que solo se conectó y se fue. Si no hubiera estado <laughs> en el chat. Por ejemplo, is Hola, Jardín. ¿Apareces ahí? Solo pone un punto en el chat para saber que no te muriste, no tuviste un <laughs> cardíaco. No. Geez, no. Maybe it's hearing. Uh -huh. Yes. It usually happens with the people. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. They only, they only connect and they go to cook and they go to do the other things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how I know. I discover. Yeah, I, I give class online for two years. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have experience on this area. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Some people, they don't care to learn. They only care for connect. I know, la asistencia, la asistencia. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. It's what um, the um, one coach was telling us uh, in the first meeting that it's important uh, to be connected, not just to be like, uh, to, as you mentioned, right, to be in the, I'm here. But we had to participate in order to demonstrate that we are in the class and paying attention of being as well uh, practicing. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I think. But you know, as I saw, as I said, you can demonstrate he's not connected. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But thank you for we the go advice. Back, we change partners. No problems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, welcome back. Great job. I saw that many of you are, are participating and giving the long answers. That is super important. It's super important that you're giving long answers detailed answers that's the most important part why because if you don't give long answers it's going to make it more difficult for you right uh, when you want to speak when when you want to explain yourself so on and so forth now the most important is get used to speaking in english get used to speaking in english don't go to spanish uh -huh, right i want you to think about it you go to the gym you don't go to the gym and say i know i i can't do the exercise i'm going to eat a hamburger no, you don't eat the hamburger in the gym, right? It's difficult, yes. You have to do challenge, yes. But you have to try to focus in English. Because if you don't, when you want to speak and you do the TOEFL exam, <gasps> imagine you are giving an exam, the future. This is your future. And then you speak Spanish, poof, you lose all the opportunities. So if you have to do it, practice it, practice it. Great. Now we're gonna change partners because it's always important to try new partners, right? That's the most important part. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a few more partners. We're gonna change. We want to make sure, okay? Sure. I'm sorry, before before we begin again, if yes. I received a call from Walter and he said that yesterday it was very difficult for him to connect. And now he, he had uh, to work very hard uh, during the from 5 p.m to 9 p.m so it was uh -huh. it was not going to be uh, uh, he was not going to be able to be in class again oh uh, unfortunately yeah. it's bad for water but you know yeah. i know i know always in the last day uh there's always some situation so 
yeah, we try mm -hmm. to do better. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Okay, but thank you so much for telling me. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to go ahead, as I mentioned, and we're going to go with our partners. We're going to try it. Okay. Let's see. So one more time. Okay. Now we change uh, partners and see. choose another topic. And remember, continue practicing long answers. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, for those of you that are the last day, everybody is speaking and participating. All right, Jenny, um, they have the links. I'll send you to a group so that way you can participate. Hi, teacher. Okay, great. Join the group, Jenny? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Welcome, this is TOEFL Preparation Course 1. In this course you will find challenges of reading, about the reading section, two types of questions, and practices about the reading types. Challenges of reading. When we take the TOEFL test, we need to know some strategies that will help us overcome some challenges. For example, you need to be familiar with the type of questions, pay attention to the number of questions, and skimming and scanning will help you deal with more difficult questions. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Daniel, can you hear me? All right, don't worry, Daniel. We're going to do a little bit of review in case you can't. I'll send you to the group, that way they can share the links with you. Daniel? Okay, well, there we go. Great. Welcome to TOEFL Preparation Course 1. In this first course, we will show you two types of reading questions, negative factual information questions and factual information questions. If you think you need to take notes, feel free to do so, or you may play this audio program as needed. First, we will show you negative factual information questions. 
Negative factual information questions ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as major ideas, supporting details, or definitions, except that instead of only one answer being true, three of the four answers are true, and you have to determine which one is false. For negative factual information questions, look for the words NOT or EXCEPT in capital letters. Keep this tip in mind. For the negative factual information questions, remember that you are looking for the answer that either isn't in the paragraph or directly contradicts information in the paragraph. Now let's try a negative factual question. Here's a paragraph about sports and its risks, and here is the answer. To begin with, you know it's a negative factual information question because of the word except in capital letters. So three of the choices are going to match information in the paragraph, and only one will not. Let's see how many correct choices we can find by scanning for keywords that appear in the answers, like mountaineers fall, risks, avalanches, and so on. We may also need to look for synonyms of these words. So if we scan the paragraph for some text about false, that corresponds to choice A. We find this and it's a match. For choice C, we found that information here, where it talks about risks. Choice D is here, where it talks about skiers are swept away by avalanches. But there's nothing in the paragraph that talks about storms. So choice B looks like it might be the answer. Therefore, choice B is our answer. Good. Now, factual. We will now move on talking about factual information questions. They are similar to the previous type because they ask you to recognize information that is explicitly stated in the text. This may include facts such as major ideas, supporting details, or definitions. Factual information questions will have phrases like, according to the paragraph, or paragraph X answers which of the following in the question. Here's a tip for answering factual information questions. Don't automatically select an answer just because it contains words or phrases from the paragraph. Make sure you carefully evaluate each option to determine if it is correct. Take a look at sample of factual information questions. Go on reading the passage. Remember, factual information questions look for only one right answer. Be careful when selecting your answer, because three of the four answer choices misstate information from the passage or contradict information from the passage. One answer we can definitely eliminate is A, because there's no mention in the paragraph of his pictures were all negative. Choice B is not mentioned at all in the passage either. Choice C looks like what is said here in this paragraph, that the chemicals continue to react and the pictures went dark, might be the information we need. Choice D is incorrect because it says that he found a way to reverse the black and white parts to make positive prints, so it is contradicting one of the choices. That leaves choice C, which is supported by the eighth line from the second paragraph. Therefore, C is the correct answer. Okay. Let's get ready now to study the other types of questions you may encounter on the TOEFL test. Inference and rhetorical purpose questions. Inference questions ask you to identify information or comprehend an idea that is not plainly stated in the reading passage. You can recognize inference questions because they usually include the words imply, infer, or suggest. Rhetorical purpose questions. Rhetorical purpose questions are similar because they also ask for information not plainly stated. This will ask why the author has presented a particular piece of information. As a tip, if you can't identify the correct answer immediately, 
one suggested way to approach these types of questions is to eliminate wrong answers. Let's have a look at a question. What can be inferred from the passage? Let's take a look at all the choices. Let's go over each option. Option A, the rivers from two Canadian provinces drain into the Mississippi River. Drainage areas in Canada are not mentioned. Option B, 31 states out of all the states in the United States have rivers that drain into the Mississippi. Option C, if only parts of some states have rivers that drain into the Mississippi, there are probably other rivers in other parts of those states that drain elsewhere. Option D, if the Mississippi extends to Canada and flows down to the sea carrying sand, silt, and clay, probably some of the silt the river is carrying comes from Canada. So letter D is our final answer. Welcome to the listening section, as in the reading section, here you will find challenges about listening, about the listening section, two types of listening questions, listening practice. Challenges of listening. When listening, you must concentrate and focus your attention on the passage. You need to be familiar with the type of questions on the test. Read and listen carefully. Answer all the questions. You may take notes as you listen. About the listening section. The listening section on the TOEFL test measures your ability to understand spoken English. You will hear parts of a conversation or lectures lasting from three to five minutes. Each listening passage is followed by five or six questions. Again, no prior knowledge is necessary. Let's begin with GIST content and GIST purpose questions. Remember that the gist of something is the main point or key idea. GIST content questions ask you to identify the main topic or idea of the listening conversation or lecture. GIST purpose questions ask you to identify what the main purpose of the conversation or lecture is. You can recognize just content and just purpose questions because they use phrases like mainly about, mainly discussing, why does the student, or what is the main purpose. Here are two things to keep in mind when answering just content and just purpose questions. In the listening section, there will always be either a just content question or a just purpose question, but never both. This question will always be the first question after listening to the passage. Also, sometimes the lectures and the conversations can have two main ideas. In this case, the GIST content or GIST purpose questions may ask you to choose two of the four answer options instead of just one. Let's look at some samples of GIST content and GIST purpose questions. Now let's talk about detail questions. Detail questions ask you about information that is stated in a small part of the passage. They generally focus on the who, what, when, where, and why. Detail questions usually take one of these formats. According to the paragraph X, occurred because, according to paragraph X, which is true of, 
the author's description of mentions which of the following. There are two major traps that people fall into on detailed questions. Both of them can be avoided if you're careful not to choose an answer simply because it contains keywords from the passage. The first trap is to choose a true statement that was contained in the passage, but that doesn't answer the question. The second mistake people make is to accidentally choose an answer that contains a lot of words from the passage, but actually it states a different idea or change. Okay, so now we got some more ideas. We're getting bigger answers, right? Asking, changing the questions for your partners. Okay, so what is the most important part? Well, the most important part is using the techniques when you do your speaking part of the test. Take a few moments, think about what you want to say, just like in writing. Think about what you want to tell the person, right? And then begin speaking. Don't start speaking without being clear because then you're going to have problems like ah, uh, eh, oh, um, 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 and then you're not going to get a lot of points. This is the same thing for your writing technique. Always make sure that first you are clear what you want to say before you start speaking. Okay. Okay. Great. So, and let's take a look. Which topics did you already discuss? Well, we discussed about animals, uh, about, uh, let's see, uh, birthdays. Mm -hmm. Alternative medicine. Alternative medicine too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Movies, so, yeah. Okay, perfect. Now I want you to look for different questions. Different questions, something more challenging, something a little bit that is not common for you to talk about. Because when you do the listening, when you do the reading, when you do the speaking, it's not going to be common thing. And you have to have a way to express yourself even with your vocabulary. Maybe you don't have the technical vocabulary, but you need to be able to express yourself with non-common things, right? So there are many different topics. If we look at the list, we can choose, for example, procrastination, okay, self-employment, uh, renovations, race, uh, prejudices. There are many different topics that can focus and make you have to do it even better. Neighbor complaints. These are things that you don't normally speak about. So choose a different one. Choose something that is not so common for you to talk about and practice it. That way you have to force yourself to use new vocabulary or to get better at it. Okay, we're ready? Ready. Yes. Let's do it. Yes. Okay.
changes the relationships between Now let's talk about detail questions. Going back, this is the listening section about detailed questions and what we're going to listen for. Detailed questions ask you about information that is stated in a small part of the passage. They generally focus on the who, what, when, where, and why. Detailed questions usually take one of these formats. According to the paragraph X, occurred because, according to paragraph X, which is true of, the author's description of, mentions which of the following. There are two major traps that people fall into on detailed questions. Both of them can be avoided if you're careful not to choose an answer simply because it contains keywords from the passage. The first trap is to choose a true statement that was contained in the passage, but that doesn't answer the question. The second mistake people make is to accidentally choose an answer that contains a lot of words from the passage, but actually it states a different idea or changes the relationships between things. For example, sleeping makes me happy is very different from happiness makes me sleep. Let's work on a sample question. Listen to the audio program about a conversation and try to get the right answer. I dropped my physics course because I discovered it didn't meet my degree requirements. You wouldn't know anyone in the class who'd like to buy the course book, would you? Not offhand, but if you bought it new and kept the receipt, I'm sure you could get your money back or exchange it for one you do need. Really? I could do that, could I? Well, yeah, if it's within a reasonable period of time. Listen again to part of the conversation. Then answer the question. Not offhand, but if you bought it new and kept the receipt, I'm sure you could get your money back or exchange it for one you do need. Really? I could do that, could I? What is the man doing when he says this? Really? I could do that, could I? Were you able to get it? That's right. By him using a tough question at the very end, we understand he's confirming his understanding about what the woman told him. Therefore, choice D is correct. Here's our introduction to the speaking section. Welcome to our speaking section. In this section, we will go through challenges of speaking, about the speaking section, a type of question, speaking practice. One of the biggest challenges about speaking is timing. Becoming fluent will help you deal with it. Fluency refers to speaking with accuracy and natural speed. The speaking section of the TOEFL test measures your ability to convey ideas. Your response should demonstrate effective use of grammar and vocabulary. It should be well developed and coherent.
many of new plans. Uh, didn't you know the name of those planets? <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I uh, well, and, and, you know, when, when I went to to a uh, parking in in Los Angeles, I I I had the opportunity to see how how much we can we can wait if we were in in Jupiter, if we were in the Moon, if we were in Neptune, and and how how fat do we look? Would we oh, look that's that pretty cool? In, <laughs> really? In any in any of those planets. For example, in the in the moon, I would I will wait uh, on about 25, 25 pounds. But if I were in, in Neptune, eight hundred twenty five pounds. You know. Oh my God, there is a huge <laughs> difference. Yeah, it was very. It is very different. There are there are a, a lot of difference living in in, the, in this planet than living in another. You know. Um. Thank God we were born in the earth. <laughs> Not the right one. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. And also that uh, it 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 could be the possibility to that in the that in Mars can can be life, but but that right now of course. And some people wants to go to to know that the moon, uh, they have arranged some travels to go there. Of what course. do they say? I mean, there was life like before or in the future? Uh, in Mars, in Mars, in the future, they say. Uh -huh. the future. Because, I don't know. Uh -huh, because they, right now there are too many oh. storms, storms, uh, uh, very, very like, strong. They have yeah. like found like some source, I mean, some kind of water in there, like there is iced water. Oh. So it's been oh. like kind of different. I remember that I practiced for my toy test when I was at Aripka. Um, and I got a real good grade. I guess I I got like 798 points out of a thousand, I guess. Oh, really? So it, yes. Yeah, it was a really good grade. And I got better grade in listening than in reading because... I used to do what the teacher said not to do, like reading the whole paragraph. And of course, <laughs> the time goes by really fast. And it's like time consuming, like being trying to read. And I remember that I just sometimes I just like chose the answer without even reading it because I, I didn't have enough time. But it was like real good. Um, I think it will be kind of the same with this exam. But um, yeah, I wanted to 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 learn a bit, a little bit more about it too, because it it has been years since I did it, and yeah, I wanted to measure my English level. Uh, that's good to trying to improve even more. So that is something that I want to as well because I think I. I'm starting from the beginning again, <laughs> but just say, yeah. where did you, where did you study first? I started studying uh English at my school, you know, oh. since since first grade. Actually, I think I started like in kindergarten, you know, but ah, that doesn't count, right? And then when I was back in third grade, um, my sister told me to start um studying English at this academy. And I was like, no, because I, uh, I'm pretty shy and I, I don't like to get to new places and get to know new people because I'm pretty shy and I don't like to talk first, you know. Yeah. But he insisted a lot, but she insisted a lot to me to do that. And I said, okay, it's time for me to do that. And then I studied for, I, I don't know how many years, but then I stopped and then I got in the academy again um, when I was like in eighth or ninth grade. Um, and I studied for four years, as I mentioned to you. And this is when I did the toy test. 
it was a good experience. Yes, I can I can figure out that is a good uh a good experience, you know, getting that toy or that kind of test and get a good so a height uh grade. It's nice actually. You can say that I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah. I I remember that I was pretty pretty okay. Okay, we choose some topic okay. about um, about drugs. Okay. Okay. Um. Are some people more easily easily addicted to drugs than others? Hmm. Mm. Okay, let me think about one some second, please. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I the time. All right. Great. So as we can see, the important is that it's just a matter of practice. The important is continue practicing. That way you don't forget in vacation. You don't forget until the next course. Continue. Continue giving long answers whenever you have the opportunity and practice with your coworkers, colleagues. Good. So before we go, do you have any questions, any comments, anything that you would like to say? Well, what I want to say is that I am so grateful with you because you have taught us, oops, my God, excellently. <laughs> Why, thank you so much, Sandra. I'm glad you enjoyed the class. That was the, the purpose. Thank you. Good. Okay, okay I can say the Teacher. same that you're... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, quickly. Uh, do you... And um, will you be with us in the next course, teacher? I have no idea. It's up to Inglés Corporativo, and we don't know when the next course is going to start. Maybe it starts in two weeks, maybe in three weeks, so I don't know yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we are, we, I only can say thank you for everything and to be very clear and help us. Of course. I'm glad. Thank I'm you glad for all, that. teacher. Thank, thank you for you all. Guys. Yes. Well, guys, thank you so much for connecting and being part of the class. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoy your vacation next week in August and that you stay safe. And I hope to continue with you. I hope it's not too long. I hope it's only one week after the vacation, after the August vacation, and then we begin again because the longer we take, the more difficult it is to remember everything when we come back. Yes. You're all right. right. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a great night. You too. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.